The targeting of ambulances, healthcare facilities, systematic attacks, sometimes killings of health professionals, kidnappings, a whole spectrum of ways in which health workers are being intimidated. It has a devastating impact. We see that there is an increase in attacks on, on healthcare workers and healthcare facilities. As a result of that, there's a, a lot of people who do not have access to the most basic of, of health care. There's a definite lack of respect for uh, doctors and nurses and all healthcare workers. And certainly at the moment uh, in Syria, I was listening to one of the health ministers who said to be a doctor in Syria at the moment is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. But it's not only in Syria, it's in places like Afghanistan, in Somalia, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. All over the place where there, there is conflict, we see that the problem is, is very, very common. Come, come, come. Come, no, I don't, no time. Well, one of the important things that the Healthcare in Danger project does is articulate the duties and responsibility of healthcare workers and therefore it's important for us both to understand those um, international ethical norms and also to ensure that our personnel are properly trained to respect those. Ethical boundaries create the relationship of trust which allows doctors and others to actually work with patients in the most difficult circumstances. The medical fraternity itself can do something a bit more than what it's doing now to make sure that there's impartiality in the care. One of them is of course to make sure that our health workers are trained so they know their ethical obligations and they know the rights of their patients and their own rights and their obligations to provide the impartial care. Providing that impartiality, demonstrating that very obviously, can be an important protection for yourself and for the institution in which you work. The minute that you start to arm the hospital or make it fortified, that can really change the perception of what your facility is really going to be. One of the biggest things that has to be considered is the threat analysis. Fighters that are using machetes are going to be very different than fighters that have machine guns because the kind of physical security measures you have in place are going to greatly vary. In certain contexts, marking your hospital would actually ensure safety versus in other scenarios where hospitals are directly being targeted, marking your hospital would actually make you in direct danger now. And it would be better to actually make it look uh, more hidden or not mark it at all, but while ensuring that patients can access it.